Good morning, ministers and excellencies and distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen. It's my great honor and pleasure to be here in this beautiful town of uh, Tor Sound and uh, speak at the opening of this uh, Arctic Circle uh, Forum. I'd like to begin by expressing my sincere appreciation to the Arctic Circle and the government of the Faroe Island for giving me this opportunity to share with you Korea's perspective uh, on advancing global cooperation on the Arctic. The Arctic is changing. It is warming at more than twice the rate of the global average, resulting in a dramatic reduction in sea ice extent, permafrost thawing, and acidification of the ocean. The Arctic problem has many dimensions, political, economic, social, and cultural. Some of them are local and national, while many of them are of cross-border and global nature. Accordingly, our approach must be conclusive and holistic. And it must be based on the best available scientific knowledge. Korea's engagement in the Arctic dates back to the 1990s. It was in 1991 when we first conducted a scientific survey in the region. We then established the Dasan Arctic Sci uh, Research Station in Svalbard in 2002 and built uh, our first ice-breaking research vessel, the Aram, in 2009. Korea joined the Arctic Council as a permanent observer in May 2013. In the same year, Korea announced its first Arctic policy master plan for 2013 to 2017. And we are now planning the next master plan for the next five years. The new plan has three main goals, namely promoting Arctic friendship and partnerships, and pursuing win-win cooperation with the Arctic communities, and strengthening our capacity to contribute in addressing the challenges in the Arctic. Also included is uh, our plan to build a second ice-breaking research, research vessel. As a maritime nation, Korea is an important stakeholder in developing trans-Arctic shipping routes. We, as a major importer of the oil and gas are also keenly interested in uh, resource development and the Arctic. When addressing Arctic issues, Korea pays special attention to their human and social dimensions. The indigenous peoples of the Arctic region have lived there for thousands of years. They have successfully adapted to changes in the past. But the changes they witnessed today in High North are unprecedented in its rate and scope. Consequently, they are suffering and struggling. In recent years, Korea have engaged with uh, the indigenous peoples and the communities of the Arctic region 
through various programs and activities. We are providing financial support and advanced technology to the Alut International Association for its Arctic Marine Indigenous Use Mapping Project. And another annual use exchange program, we have invited some 50 young students of the Arctic countries to Korea since uh, 2015. This year, Korea has launched a new initiative called the Arctic Science Fellowship Program, targeting early career researchers from Arctic countries. Excellencies and distinct guests and ladies and gentlemen, the Arctic is changing and changing very rapidly. We need to have a sense of urgency and take action to mitigate and adapt to changes, climate change impacts. It is wild, widely known that uh, non-Arctic states as well as Arctic countries are main source of contaminants and pollutants now affecting the Arctic acutely. Thus, it is incumbent upon us to share responsibility and to work together on a healthy and environmentally and socioeconomically and sustainable Arctic. In this context, the Arctic Circle has played a very important role, not only by providing a venue for discussing various Arctic issues, but also in bridging the gap between the global and the regional perspectives on the Arctic. Taking this opportunity, I'd like to thank the Arctic Circle, especially its chairman, former President Crimson, for your vision and the leadership in founding and leading this important international forum successfully. At this point, it is my great pleasure to announce the next Arctic Forum will be held in Seoul, Korea in December this year. Under the theme, Asia meets the Arctic, the Seoul Forum will focus on Arctic science, Arctic innovation, and ASEAN perspectives on the Arctic. Details will be circulated via Arctic Circle Secretariat in due course. In addition, Korea is organizing the annual Arctic Partnership Week back to back with the Arctic Circle Seoul Forum. It will be comprised of a series of the seminars, exhibitions, and events related to the Arctic. Last year, over 1,000 of people at home and abroad attended the event. So I invite all of you to our Arctic events. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a successful Arctic Circle Forum. And I look forward to meeting all of you again in Seoul this December. Thank you.